before I begin my speech, I would like to ask all of you to close your eyes. Come on guys, close your eyes. Okay, so picture a tree in your mind. It can be a tall tree, a big tree, or a tree that's over 100 years, years old. Now, open your eyes. And I bet most of the trees you have in your mind are like this. They are tall, they are green, they are healthy. They look like the ideal trees. But have you ever paid attention to the trees around us? Do they look like the ideal trees? Let me show you how they look like. They are sick, they are trapped with lights, they are disabled, <laughs> they are even beheaded. <laughs> They look pathetic. So, plant trees save the world. We've all heard of this. But what happened to the trees that are being planted by, by us? The truth is, we don't really take care of our trees after we plant them. And as we don't care of our trees anymore, this may rebound on us someday. So, let me show you some of the common mistakes we make when we grow trees. First, the disabled trees. We see this a lot on the streets every day. So when trees are still small, when they are still unable to stand on their own, we'll use some sticks to support them so they can stand. But then as they grow bigger and taller, actually we're supposed to take those sticks off so they will be able to stand on their own. But a lot of us, we forget or we don't know that we're supposed to remove the sticks. So we still leave the sticks there, so as they grow bigger and taller, they still rely on the sticks and they become disabled. And if there's ever typhoon and, or just strong wind, then this kind of trees, they may fall easily. The second one, the beheaded tree. They look really pathetic, but they're in our everyday lives. So a lot of us, we are just tired of playing out those fallen leaves or we're afraid that if the trees they grow too big and too tall they may block our sight so we just behead the trees uh, these kind of trees they will grow new bark new branches but the thing is the new branches they grow will be easier to fall than the main branches that are being chopped off by us and this kind of tree they're also more easy to fall to fall the second one, the suffocated trees. A lot of times we know that we need to leave space for the trees above, but we forget that they also need space below. As the tree grow taller and bigger, they also need space for their roots to grow and to grab more soil so, so they can stand better. But as you can see, this kind of tree, even though they grow tall and big above, but if there ever comes, ever comes typhoon, it's also quite easy for them to fall. So what happens to our, our trees if they become unhealthy and they are so easy to fall? The brutal truth is we might get killed by them. So these are real news. Just from 2016 to 2018 in Taipei, there are more than 40 cases being filed to Taipei government, stating that there are trees, just street trees, falling off on the ground and hurt someone or kill someone. And those victims, they are just like you and me. We just walk on the streets every day, not knowing that the trees around us are actually not healthy and they are about to fall. Then suddenly they fall, and we're being killed. So you never know. When, whether you will be the next one being killed by trees. So our trees need you. And they need you just not to just plant them to the ground. They also need you to really take care of them. And you also need them to be healthy too. Or else you'll be killed by them. So if you ever, um, starting from today, I'm asking you to not just Continue picturing the ideal trees in your mind, but start to look at the trees around you. And if you ever come across a tree that's unhealthy or you think they're about to fall off, no matter which city you're in, as long as you're in Taipei, you can call 1999 
and it's the citizen hotline and you can ask our government to fix the problem. And there are also some non-government officials, uh, organizations that uh, will take care of the trees. You can also reach them to ask them to fix the problem. So our trees need you. And remember, you need them to be healthy too, or else you may get killed. <laughs>